Um, Emacs crypto is on the rise again, uh, but we're going to talk about why it failed, what happened, should you still invest in it, why I stopped talking about it, and why a lot of investors stopped talking about it. Is it still safe for you? Okay, so after the June 6th Logan Paul fight uh, with Floyd Mayweather, things went south, man. It was kind of bad business. So keep watching this, and we're going to explain some stuff. We, let's get over here. Um, this is the price for it. It's up 8.42% today. It's been a long time since I've seen it up, but I haven't really even been checking back with it because they kind of disappointed me. And I'm about to show you why we have to go over to their Twitter and you're going to see exactly why. Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that Emacs crypto died down? Like, look, Emacs crypto, when I first started talking about crypto on this channel was one of the ones that I thought was really going to be something. But it got caught up in the hype, okay? So we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you this live, okay? So this is the Ethereum Max uh, Twitter, okay? I usually don't, I don't check out the freaking uh, articles no more or uh, uh, stuff like that because a lot of that can be fake. The press releases can be fake. So keep watching, look, let me show you why I believe they fell down and they got caught up in the trend, guys. All right, so keep watching, look, Emacs is teaming up with create luck whatever the hell that is for an ultra exclusive giveaway event on 9 15 where you can enter win chance to win blah 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 okay so one of the things i believe that affected them is this specifically influencers okay that is not the same thing as use cases what i was excited about was the fact that ethereum max was allowing uh was being accepted at the hotels and at the restaurants during the event of this fight that weekend, it was crypto week that weekend and everything. And Ethereum Max was gathering up some usage cases and it was exciting. So that's what was good. It was, it was, it was killing it. But then they started paying attention to influencers and started trying to buy influencers. When it comes to a new currency and stuff, usage and holding is what matters. And they stopped paying so much attention to the usage of it and they started paying more attention to getting influencers to pump it and talk about it. See, as we can see right here, look, Ethereum Max in the news. Okay, like who cares? Like that's not what is important. So tokens like AMP and uh, what's going on with Flexa and ACH, they're gathering usage cases. It's more about implementation and mass adoption. And I thought that's what it was going to be about with Ethereum Max, but it kind of slowed down and died down. The Emax blog is now live, articles, tips, and news. It seemed like it's just more about the fluff and the, the hype now. Now, I don't know too much, look, because I haven't been checking them out too long, but we're on our Twitter. And you can just look for yourself, man. Take your feelings out of it and pay attention. Where is the real news at? What's the use cases? What's happening? Yikes, $100,000 worth of Ethereum, NFT, blah, blah, blah. They're not really implementing anything too, too much anymore. And they, they came out cool, man. And then it was silence. So, wow, talk about commitment. One of our diehard Emacs holders took it upon herself to get a tattoo. Well, first of all, that could be Photoshopped. And if you got a tattoo of some dang on Emacs, he crazy as hell, okay? Now, this is what I like right here. This is what is needed. Okay, so Roadrunner moving is storage. Each week we highlight a bold business from around the world that is taking steps in disrupting their industry and history as they decide to accept Emacs as their choice of cryptocurrency for payments. Thank you, Roadrunner moving from Alabama. That is what should be all up and down this news feed, guys. It should be implementation of usage and adoption. All right, and that's how they came out the gate, and that's why everybody was hype about them because of uh, you know the the inspiration and we thought the adoption was going to happen so now they're talking about tyson fury is going to be wearing their shorts when he fights and all of that stuff but that's the same mistake that happened with mayweather yeah a lot of people is going to see it but we know in this day and age that you can pay influencers to pretty much do anything they're famous hookers pretty much okay so you know I don't really see anything awesome, you know? Okay, so yeah, he's wearing that, but but is Mayweather using it? Has Mayweather converted his currency over to Ethereum Max? I doubt it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he's worth, what, a cool billion? How much is that, how much of that billion is in Ethereum Max? You see, so 
this is what is going to be needed to pump any of these tokens usage and conversions of wealth okay like a person that really believes they're going to be converting their wealth over into the cryptocurrency i'm not saying they're going to convert all of it but they're going to like put in for real not just where the sharks you understand? Then they had Kim Kardashian promoting it and stuff. You know, damn well, she don't know nothing about no crypto. All right. So this is why Ethereum Max is falling and uh, or had fallen. I don't know what's going to happen now to it, but this is why I stopped reporting it because it got caught up in all the fluff and everything. Now, whether or not the daily chart makes it go up or or, or people are paying attention to this and buying in, whether or not you can make a quick buck off of it, that's cool. Do your thing. But on my channel, we're about holding and we're about safer investments and investments that you hold long term that can turn into millions of billions. That's what we're about. OK, so if you're about that, then do a Jet Lee sidekick to the like button. And I'll see you in the next one.